Have you ever wanted to draw something that looked three-dimensional but were unsure how? Today you will learn how to create the illusion of three-dimensional space in a two-dimensional artwork using one-point perspective. This video is designed for aspiring artists 13 years or older. The technique can be used at a variety of different skill levels depending on the complexity of the final drawing. To get started, you'll need to gather some materials. You'll need a pencil, either a traditional wood or mechanical pencil, a good eraser, a straight edge such as a ruler, and a right angle triangle. You can substitute a T-square for both the straight edge and the right angle triangle, but T-squares are often larger and more cumbersome. On your paper, draw a horizontal line. To ensure your line is horizontal, use your triangle and the side of the paper to start the line. Finish the line using a long ruler. This line is called the horizon line. The horizon line is the eye level of your viewer. If you were three feet tall, everything at three feet would line up on the horizon line. If you were six feet tall, everything at six feet would line up on the horizon line. Next, draw a short vertical line across the horizon line near the center of the page. Where these two lines meet is known as the vanishing point. All lines in the picture will come together at this vanishing point. If you've ever looked at railroad tracks and seen them disappear into the distance, that point where they disappear is the vanishing point. In this picture, you can actually see many different parts of the image come together at the vanishing point. It would be very difficult to draw this scene without a knowledge of one point perspective. For our demonstration today, we will be creating basic cube shapes. Start by drawing a square or a rectangle. Use your triangle and the edge of the paper or the horizon line to make sure it is square. Continue to use the triangle on all sides to ensure a well-constructed shape. The rest of our three-dimensional cube will be built from this shape. If you start with a sloppy shape, your whole drawing will be sloppy. Next, use your ruler or straight edge and draw a line connecting one of the corners with the vanishing point. Do this with each of the four corners. These lines, which converge on the vanishing point, are called orthogonal lines. They represent the part of the cube going back in space. After you've drawn all of your orthogonal lines, you can draw the back of the cube. Make sure each corner touches the orthogonal line from the corresponding corner on the front shape. Don't forget to continue using your triangle to ensure a well-constructed cube. Now you can erase the construction lines and you're left with a three-dimensional cube. To review, draw a shape. Connect the corners with the vanishing point using orthogonal lines. Draw the back of the shape making sure all of the corners are connected with the correct orthogonal line. Erase the construction lines and you have another shape. Now go and make your own three-dimensional drawing and have fun with it.